Good afternoon or good morning, the social media world. Um, it is Kickstarter launch day. It's October the 2nd, um, and we are launching this evening at 6 p.m. Um, we've had a lot of questions about Talisman, why is it so special? Um, questions about the lenses, the magnets. Um, so we're going to make a very quick video to try and highlight all of those key features. Um, I try not to ramble on too much. Um, so we're going to just try and squeeze all that information into maybe a four or five minute video. Um, chances are that will roll over, but let's see how we get on. So this is a 2018 Talisman goggle. Um, it's going to be, there's six colorways in total. Uh, it's available in two sizes. It has an eight point magnetic lens change system. So what that means, you can change from your category three bright light lens over to your category one low light lens instantly. So you use this lens for when it's sunny, as soon as it gets cloudy or it starts to snow, switch over to your low light lens. Um, as standard, we're gonna be providing a low light yellow lens, a low light category one yellow lens, um, but there's also gonna be blue and orange available for those who prefer those low lights. Um, so super strong, really, really strong, um, eight point magnetic lens change system. The lens isn't gonna fall out. If this lens does pop out for whatever reason, um, the last of your concerns are going to be where's the lens um, you're going to be more worried about your limbs because the hit would have to be that hard um, for the lens to pop out ask our man will tucker who actually cracked his pop helmet i believe um, and i think from what recollection that is the only time one of these lenses has popped off um, so a, a brand new upgrade for us this, this season um, notoriously we've always used, used a gray base lens with our, our coatings. Uh, this year we've upgraded to a brown lens, so you've got a hugely improved contrast and depth perception. Um, it's a double polycarbonate lens, including the polarized filter, which is a new addition. Uh, we haven't done a polarized filter in any of our goggles since way back in 2011, actually. So back by popular demand, um, bronze lens upgrade, polarized filter, double polycarbonate, um, UV 400, so maximum protection from the harmful UV rays. Anti-fog coating to prevent it misting up. And what you've got on this lens is, in fact, the same as Expose 2 from last season, is a lens trim. So you've got two polycarbonate lenses, which are housed in this trim that runs right the way around the outside with the lens trigger on the bottom corner. Really important. On cheaper magnetic goggles, what you'll get is a, a layer of polycarbonate lens, a uh, foam spacer and another layer of polycarbonate lens and those are glued together but every time you take your lens off you're grabbing the front lens and relying on that glue to hold that lens together and what happens over a period of time is that will weaken um, you'll get space moisture will make its way in between um, and that is the end of the lenses rest in peace lenses um, so category three bright light lens bronze lens upgrade huge amount of clarity in this. We used these in Zermatt uh, for filming the Kickstarter campaign and, and they were superb. We had bluebird days, in fact, every day, which we were really lucky with and the lenses were incredible. Back to the goggle. Um, let's talk about the straps. Um, last year on Expose 2, we had a 50 millimeter strap, thick adjustable uh, 50, 50 millimeter strap. What we found is it just added a little bit of weight to the goggles. So what we've done is we've dropped back down. This is a 42 millimeter strap. So we reduced the weight slightly and also changed from uh, white embroidered logos to silicon. Now what that does is um, on embroidered logos, they look great. Gold logos, um, but over a period of time as they deteriorate, they start to hold the uh, discoloration if you like. Whereas on silicon, it will remain clean and fresh the whole time. Uh, from this season, next season, many seasons to come, this logo will always look like this. Brand new, clean and fresh. Um, also, embroidered logos can hold a bit of um, bit of water. So as soon as it starts to snow, uh, water will gather and collect in the embroidery, adds the weight, adds to the weight of the goggle again. So uh, slightly thinner strap to reduce weight. Silicon logo, so it remains clean and fresh, also to reduce weight further. What does remain is our double adjustable straps. I'm not sure you can see that, so we're in the wrong color jumper. Um, silicon on the inside of the strap also to make sure the goggle grips the helmet, make sure it stays firmly in place. 
Uh, moisture wicking, triple layer face foam to make sure this goggle um, is comfortable on your face. If the goggle is not comfortable, you're not gonna wanna wear it. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, we've got venting that runs around the whole of the goggle, partnering really well with the anti-fog, so it gives us the airflow, which helps to keep the goggle and the lens nice and fog free, so you can see where you're going. That's that. Um, I've mentioned the low lights already. This is a category one, which applies to the standard. They're gonna be blue and orange, if you wish. Also combined uh, in this package is the Hartic goggle case, complete with carabiner, so you can clip it to your rucksack, and the goggle-shaped lens puller. Perfect for travel. Pop your goggles in there, chuck it in your suitcase and your hold all. Um, make sure everything stays intact. Make sure they're really well protected. Also, in the pack, as always, is a, one of our microfiber pouches. Really good for cleaning the lenses. Don't use tissue or anything else, um, or your jacket or your sleeve, because it's too abrasive. You'll scratch your lenses, um, and you'll also remove the anti-fog if you're wiping the inside of the lens. You need to use something in micro use. Need to use a microfiber cloth. Um, this is the best material, best tool for cleaning the lenses. So don't use anything else, microfiber pouch. Um, yeah, right, what else can I go back to? I'm gonna actually go back to the lenses very quickly. Let's nick Tucker's lens. Um, way back when, lenses used to be a flimsy piece of plastic or polycarbonate, and they used to be flat, and then they used to be bent and um, put into the frames. Lenses now, on this high quality lens, it's heated up, it's a sheet of polycarbonate. Um, the lens is stamped, stamped out, and then it's heated and molded into place. So what that gives you is a really, really strong lens, but hugely improved uh, clarity as well. Uh, when you bend, obviously, a piece of polycarbonate and squash it into the lens, you're getting a distortion. Um, you don't get that on more expensive, high quality lenses. Excellent. One last thing is to mention that it's helmet compatible. Uh, the width of the goggle from here to here is 27 millimeters. Now that is the optimal width for helmet compatibility. Um, obviously really essential this day and age. There's more people wearing helmets than not. Um, so, and we encourage you to wear helmets as well. Obviously we want to stay, we want to see you guys staying safe on the mountain. So the goggle is 27 millimeters wide for optimum helmet compatibility. Finally, all it leaves me to say is please come and help, come and support us on Kickstarter. Uh, without your help and your support, this product, we can't bring it to market. It's as simple as that. Um, so like, tag, share in any way which you can. Tell your friend, tell your nan, uh, post your comments below, um, and we'll come back to you probably instantly. I would have thought we're going to be on social media solid, solidly now for the next six weeks. Um, any way we can help, please get in touch, and we'll speak to you guys soon.